Hi there and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to be looking at the Swift Loot tool and how we can use it to add detail to our models. So I've got a few examples here and we'll start off with this box over here. And what we'll do is we'll just quickly add a turbo smooth modifier to it. So you'll notice it just crumbles up into a little ball and that's because it's got no, no edge loop to support the outer boundaries of it. So let's add a Swift Loop in. So I've got it set up on my quads and I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. So go to Swift Loop and you'll notice as soon as you activate the tool, you get this, um, this edge ring that goes around and where, whatever edge you hover over, it'll snap to that edge and then draw a loop all the way around it. So all you need to do to add the loop is just to simply left click and we'll just go around the model and we'll do a little loop around each corner like so so that we end up with a little cube in each corner you see that go down here so right now if we add the turbo smooth modifier again you'll notice that he's, these uh, outer edges have been protected and they've been smoothed from the, from the loops that we've, we've uh, put into it, which is really handy for high poly modeling. So in our second example here, let's say we want to make some kind of river or waterfall. So let's turn the, so we can see it. We'll activate a swift loop again and what we can do is we can add more loops in there to subdivide the surfaces and obviously unless you're making a stylized very boxy looking game uh, a waterfall will have a curve to it so what we want to do is add some loops in there that will make a curve when we add the turbo smooth modifier to it. So it'll curve that edge there and it'll curve this edge here. So it starts from that edge and it will curve it that way. So let's also add some lengthways like that. And again, we'll add the turbo smooth modifier to it and see the results. And there you go. So in this last example, all we're going to do is we're going to make a little box. I'm going to convert it to an editable poly, delete some sides, just so we've got this left. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into edge mode, which is two on your kit one. I've got it as two on my keyboard. Obviously you can select edges from here. I'm going to go right click and chamfer. I'm going to chamfer that. So now what I'm going to do is activate the swift loop tool again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift and what this will do is it will make a, a smooth curve without using the turbo smooth modifier between this edge and this edge. So you hold shift and you'll notice that it will snap to the center, uh, the distance between these two edges right in the center look. It will draw this, this strange line that seems to go outside of the box. So I'll click there and again we're holding shift down and all we'll do is left clicking, shift and shift and it makes a it makes a nice smooth curve there and just to finish off we're going to add the um, swift loop tool into our quad so all you need to do is go to customize customize user interface go over to quads and select a quad over here in these little boxes I like mine in the top left hand quad and go down to poly tools here and all you need to do is select the first one and type in S to or SW swift loop and all you need to do is drag that straight into here and from there all you do is, is save it out and that's it so anyway I hope you found this helpful and uh, I'll see you in the next video cheers